It's ridiculous. Why don't we take this energy and put it to something that is good? Why don't people say, okay, well, let's deal with the person, another young lady who may be found, or the poor black child or African-American child who's missing in another state. Let's start having the hate go away and using this energy that everybody has to do something good in the world instead of hating Casey Anthony. All right, but it's Linda Kitty Bond, I think a lot of people were just scandalized by that moment in the trial that came on day one. In his opening statement, Casey Anthony's attorney, Jose Baez, dropped the bombshell that offended so many, claiming Casey was molested by her father. Listen to this. This child, who at eight years old, learned to lie immediately. She could be 13 years old, have her father's ass in her mouth, and then go to school and play with the other kids as if nothing ever happened. Now, there's George, Casey sobbing at the defense table. Now, one thing I could never figure out, Linda, was that prosecutors uh, told me they knew Jose Baez was going to make this claim of molestation and claim that Kaylee drowned accidentally. And yet prosecutors didn't seem to have an effective strategy to counteract that, even though they knew it was coming before the trial started. Well, it seems to me, Jane, that they were so relying on the hate that we're talking about that they figured that this would be a slam dunk and forget the burden of proof. Let's, matter of fact, let's forget any proof. I mean, if you have an allegation of molestation, and remember, she had this allegation in jail letters, which she wrote to other jail people, and you know about it, maybe that should have been investigated, no matter what you feel about Casey Anthony. That needs to be investigated. We, haven't we learned anything from recent events in, our, in this country's history, uh, dealing with sports athletes? We have to take this stuff seriously.